We are at Superior Joining Technologies. This is a family-owned job shop that mainly serves the commercial aviation industry. The couple that owns this has been married for 47 years. They perform CNC machining, TIG welding, laser welding, additive manufacturing, and non-destructive testing. They've brought all of these technologies in over the years in response to their customers' needs. This is a truly unique shop. Let's check it out. We started in our garage. Started in the garage. Yes, I, I had to move my car out. And so, and it looked just like this. He, he's had the vision of quality and precision the entire time for 32 years. And each time that we moved the business, we've grown five times. This is our fifth move, and each time we've gotten five times bigger. By the spring of 92, I, we decided with some arm twisting that uh, we would, now's the time to go out on our own. And none of us, neither one of us knew what that looked like. We didn't have mentors in our family. We weren't raised, you know, as entrepreneurs. The things that we've brought into this organization have been intended to support the, the core competency of the welding. So we do a lot of TIG welding, laser welding, and we, we weld on people's parts, they bring them in, or, or we make stuff complete. That's where the machine shop comes in. We, we saw this as an opportunity to enhance the relationships that we have with customers by being able to contribute the machining side of it as well, and gives us more control of lead times and, and that's, that's important. And, and a bigger slice of the pie as well, a little more control over the, the job overall. We brought this machine shop in about five, six, seven years ago. 2018, we started talking to these guys. Uh, so a lot of uh, large five axis milling centers, we did add the the turning center that we've been real happy with, but these we, we can do a lot with with these big mores. A lot of a lot so of, everything we're seeing right here is only from the last six, seven, eight years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What types of industries and, and end markets are you serving mainly with the machining side? Well, the machines don't care, which is kind of a funny thing, but but. Our organization is AS9100 registered. We're NANCAP accredited for the welding, non-destructive testing that we do. So we are, we are serving the commercial aviation industry. That's our, that's our focus. That's how we're set up. We do some medical, we do some other stuff. Like I said, the, the machines don't care, but it's all about compliance. Can you show us a couple of uh, machines yeah. and some of the parts that you're making? Yeah. We're, uh, some of the things that we've done, we're developing this. It used to be a weldment of three different parts. And, and we convinced the customer to, to let us uh, come up with this one piece construction it is much more robust it's not subject to the the problems uh, the the distortion the challenges of the welding process but uh, used to be a flange and a tube and another flange and there was a lot involved in in making it and so we're we're making that as a one piece now so you really need five axis here in order to reach all of the different yeah. surfaces and geometries in this yeah. oddly shaped part. These come from a customer that, that reconditions a lot of parts of the, the cabin interior. And when these seat frames are damaged, they come to us, they'll send a group to us 
We'll do some pre-machining to remove the damage. We'll weld to build up the area that's been removed, and then we'll come back and do the finished machining. We've, we've reconditioned this area. This is the part where the, the armrest comes up and then clicks into place, and it gets torn up. So you guys really specialize in uh, parts that require sort of a marriage of operations between machining and welding. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if it if it requires AS9100 or the NADCAP accreditation, that's that's a bonus. If there's machining involved, that's great. We can do that in house. We do the welding. Also, we do non-destructive testing. We were NADCAP accredited for fluorescent dye penetrant, or PT, as it's known in the industry, and then magnetic particle inspection, or MT. We do both of those. We're NADCAP accredited for those. We're a job shop, so we, we build relationships. We, we like the reciprocal relationships where we're, we're both customer and vendor with with the people that we work with. Well, we'll get anywhere from four to 104. You know, it's it's unpredictable and they're always in a hurry when they show up, so. I see you have additive manufacturing written on this cart. Is yeah. that significant for these parts? No, I think somebody stole this cart. <laughs> This is one of the parts that we had historically been purchasing from an outside vendor. And uh, we have great vendors, but we, we had an opportunity to take a little more control of the lead time, as I said, and we, we brought that in-house. And, and uh, the new NLX is an amazing piece of equipment, a lot of phenomenal capability. It's working on another larger flange. And these all feed into the welding department. I'll tell you about this. So this is a, a local company and, and they do forging, but when they're developing new products, a lot of times they'll, they'll send it out for a prototype. So we're making a prototype, you can see on the screen, it's, it's a hammer, one key, that I learned when we got into this was you can make little parts on big machines, but you can't make big parts on little machines. <laughs> so we have a bunch of big machines and we're making a lot of little parts, but every once in a while somebody comes in with something huge and we're ready for it. And then you're like, see, I told you we needed yeah, this machine. Yeah. <laughs> talked about additive, so this is one of our additive processes, the concept laser from GE. Right. The goal would be to be involved more in medical implantable devices. Mm. It's another little novelty piece that, that wow. we made. This is a common part on, on the internet. Plastic 3D printing going on here. Yeah, she's making some some parts, these are guards, right, for some flanges. This is the laser welding. This is where, where Morgan works. And, and this is the machine that also has the powder capability, the blown powder. It's a 900 watt fiber laser. Like many of the things that we have as a job shop, it's a great machine for us because it's very open and very flexible since we're, we're not so dedicated to one part or a, a similar family of parts, we have to be ready for anything. So yeah. this machine really, really filled that niche. Being open like this, we have to keep it in, in this room because the, the wavelength of the laser is damaging to the eyes. So we're in inspection. We have a number of customers that that 
develop components for cabin interiors. And where we get involved is the, the um, water systems. So this is a, a water tank for an aircraft, a very small aircraft, and it's got all these sensors, level sensors will be mounted here, but this is the flange that, oh, wow. that we were making. So you can see it gets welded on to the tube. There are other components that, yeah. that get assembled to that. That is a beautiful welding job. Whoever's doing that knows what they're but doing. But you can see all the machine parts. We used to outsource all that stuff. We're bringing these things in-house now. So are there any components on this tank that are not produced at this shop? Well, the, the domes, that's one thing that I'm, I'm not bringing in. So these are, these are made with spin forming. Okay. And we, we work with a number of spin forming people. So this is our new laser, five axis laser. We bought this one in, in uh, 2008. And then this one was just installed this year. Really? So. so it's etching locations so that the welder can can line up these parts, put them in place without needing a fixture uh, so we have four meters by one and a half meters in Y and then a three-quarter meter Z stroke about 30 inches this one is the same in Z and Y but the X is only three meters that's plenty first parts in space back in 06 with the, the Hubble repair mission And there's room to grow. We've got room. Uh, we we moved into this building in 2015, okay. so we've been here almost 10 years. And by the end of, of next year, it'll be 10 years. And and well, who knows what'll happen next year? But we, we still right now we have a lot of a lot of elbow room. Because we're in this wonderful area here in Rockford, Illinois we're able to hear from the big um, tier ones. And they told us that you have to be ISO and you ha then you have to be AS9100. But for us, we go out to lunch every day and we talk about work there. And if there's an issue that we have, um, we don't go home. We'll go out to dinner or whatever. You know, you're not gonna kill each other at dinner, you know. And so we don't talk about work when we go home. And for a long time, we didn't even have computers at home or envelopes or stamps. We kept anything work-related at the shop. And so that was the way we could focus on each other and our family and our friends and have, it's made a wonderful life for us. Hey everybody, Brent Donaldson with Modern Machine Shop here. And if you just watched that video and you're thinking, boy, I'd like my shop to be featured in the View for My Shop series, then just send us an email at shopvideo at mmsonline.com and tell us what sets your shop apart.